Strategies for Self-Employed Home Buyers Optimizing Your Mortgage Application with the Right Income Documentation The journey to home ownership can be complex and nuanced, especially for self-employed individuals. Unlike traditional wage earners, self-employed borrowers face unique challenges when applying for a mortgage due to the nature of their income verification process. Mortgage underwriters scrutinize applications to assess the risk level of lending to a borrower. For self-employed individuals, the primary methods of income verification include tax returns and bank statement deposits. Understanding Mortgage Underwriting for Self-Employed Borrowers Mortgage underwriting is the process through which lenders assess the risk of lending money to a borrower. For self-employed individuals, this process is particularly critical because their income can be irregular and harder to predict compared to salaried employees. Underwriters look for stability, reliability, and the ability to maintain consistent income over time. Income Verification Through Tax Returns Tax returns are the traditional method for verifying income for self-employed borrowers. This method requires the borrower to provide two years of personal and, if applicable, business tax returns. The underwriter will review these documents to determine the borrower's net income after deductions. The challenge with tax returns is that self-employed individuals often have numerous deductions that can significantly lower their taxable income. While beneficial for tax purposes, this can be detrimental when applying for a mortgage, as it may appear that the borrower earns less than they actually do, affecting their loan eligibility and the terms offered. PROS provides a detailed history of income and expenses, considered more reliable for long-term financial assessment. Pandao may not accurately reflect the borrower's current income due to deductions, potentially leading to less favorable loan terms. Income verification through bank statement deposits. An alternative method that has gained popularity is the use of 12 months of bank statement deposits to verify income. This method allows underwriters to assess a borrower's cash flow directly, providing a more immediate picture of their financial health. By examining the deposits, underwriters can determine the borrower's gross income without the distortions of tax deductions. This can be particularly advantageous for borrowers who have a high volume of business expenses that do not necessarily reflect their actual cash flow. PROS offers a more accurate representation of current cash flow, potentially leading to better loan terms. Cons. Not all lenders accept bank statements and those that do may require a higher interest rate due to perceived increased risk. Impact on interest rates. The method of income verification has a direct impact on the interest rate offered to self-employed borrowers. Generally, Loans that are considered higher risk are subject to higher interest rates. From a lender's perspective, the risk lies in the borrower's ability to maintain consistent income to meet mortgage obligations. Tax returns. If the income reported on tax returns is low due to deductions, the borrower may be seen as higher risk, leading to a higher interest rate. However, if the tax returns show stable, sufficient income over two years, the borrower may qualify for more competitive rates. Bank statement deposits. Using bank statements can sometimes result in a lower perceived risk if the deposits demonstrate strong, consistent cash flow. However, because this method is less traditional and perceived as non-conforming, some lenders may still offer higher interest rates to mitigate their risk. Strategies for self-employed borrowers Self-employed borrowers should prepare meticulously to secure the best possible mortgage terms. Maintain impeccable financial records, whether using tax returns or bank statements, clear and comprehensive financial documentation is crucial. Minimize deductions. While beneficial for reducing tax liabilities, excessive deductions can lower your qualifying income. Build a strong credit profile. A high credit score can offset some of the perceived risks associated with self-employment. Consider a larger down payment. Increasing your down payment can reduce the lender's risk potentially leading to better interest rates. Shop around. Different lenders have different criteria and comfort levels with self-employed borrowers.